What's going on everyone? Back again with another retouch. Uh, this time I'm going to show everyone how to create the merge, the copy, and the blend action for the ones who've already purchased uh, Bella Ortiz's uh, panel, which you've already known that you can't use the panel uh, the actual panel in CC 2014 or CC 2015, uh, but you can install the actions um, for 14-15, but you would have to download, I mean, uh, install the actions for um, copy, blend, and merge. So I'm going to show you that today. So the first thing you want to do, I have have my set for button mode because it's easier for me to access and I color coded it. <clears throat> but what we're going to do is going to turn it off. We're going to create a new. Uh, you want to install these under Bell Ortiz's uh, retouching actions. So first, what I'll do, I'll show you guys how to actually add it in there. So we're going to rename this to. one just so we don't have a duplication of it so what we're going to do <clears throat> we're going to click here we're going to go to oh, I'm sorry uh, where's that we're going to go to load actions and we're going to go to wherever you have your folder at so I have mines in my folder in my desktop oops where is it at? And desktop. There we go. Bill or T retouching. So we go here and you go to your panel and actions folder. And you're going to click on the Bill or T's retouching action. And you're going to hit open. And what it's going to do is going to load up the actual actions for everything pretty much um, the only thing you won't see is the lasso 2 button the clone button the all these things pretty much you won't see these are the only thing that you're gonna have to go back and forth to because these buttons um these icons whatever can't be added to, to the actions panel so we're only adding the actual action so now what we're gonna do I should want to merge this down group that so what we're going to do, we're going to create, <clears throat> first we're going to create a copy. And the copy is really simple. So we're going to come here to this one right here. We're going to go to new. Action, we're going to call copy. And we want to select it, the set to this one. This is, the, this is mine, this is a new one that we're going to do. And here, you can set the color that you want for it. So we'll set this one to blue, I guess. And hit record. So now it's recording down here. So every action you make will be recorded. So what we're going to do, we're going to we're just going to make a oops. Yeah, see, I got to stop it right now because Let's do this one more time. So new. Copy. Color blue. And we're going to do a selection. Click a selection. Doesn't mean doesn't mean matter where. So we'll copy command C and paste command V. Okay. And you can actually come here and you can actually delete once you finish. You can delete this part of it once you finish. And stop our action. I'm going to come here and delete this because we don't need that. And we can delete this. So now. That's copy. So now what's going to happen is if you make a selection, 
wherever you're doing your thing at, and you hit and you run this. Hit play, and it copies. It copies that selection. So I'll do it one more time. So we're doing so right now. This action is doing a copy, and it's doing a pasting of where you where your selection is. So we're gonna let's do a bigger area so we can actually see. So we just copy this whole area. So we do a selection, lasso tool, and we hit play. And it just copied that area. So now if I turn this layer off, this is the only thing that you see. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is, actually we can keep it there. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to do a blending mode. The blending mode is included with the Gaussian blur. So again, we're going to do new blend. Make sure it's set on bellow T retouching and to the blue or whatever color you like it. For these areas, I do blue or I have to keep them in the same color. We're going to hit record. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to go to filter, blur, and then we hit Gaussian blur. And then you can set your pixel to whatever you like. I like to start at 13 and hit OK and hit stop. So what we want to do here for this we want to turn these on. This allows you to toggle toggle through the action so you can actually change your settings uh, if you like. So we we'll delete that layer. And we're going to go through it. So we're going to go here. Just select that. You want to go to copy. Well, actually, I'm sorry. You want to turn this layer, turn the blend layer on. So we're going to click this little uh, icon here. This action will target the state of all dialogues in this action. So you want to hit OK because it's going gonna, it's gonna to go through all the actions for that. That's what you want. Hit OK. So now that we have that copied, we run it. It makes a copy of it. Come down to blend and you hit play. It's going to blend it. And it's going to ask you if you want to change your radius or I mean your pixel size or not. And then you hit OK. And now you have your blend. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you what's going to happen. I'm going to show you what happens when you don't toggle this this action on, this part on. Okay, so if you don't toggle this on, we're gonna turn it off. We'll do a selection, and we're gonna go to copy. We're gonna hit that play. This is copy. This is turned off now. If we hit play, it's only gonna do it at the pixel radius that you set it on when you record it. It won't give you the option to change. So it does it at 13 pixels automatically. So you want to have the option to toggle through and change your option when you're retouching. So we want to turn this back on. And the final thing is merging now, which is probably the easiest thing out of all of this. You really don't even need an action for it, but it's there for you. So you hit new, merge. You can do merge or merge down or whatever your preference is. Set the below TV touching. Blue. Record. And now we're just going to hit Command E to merge down. Oops. No, I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, Command E to merge down, but we want to we wanna go to image layer and we want to hit Command E. I think it already did. Oh, merge visible. Sorry. So we're going to hit merge visible. It should be command E. Uh, we'll do shift command E and see what happens. Yeah, see, we don't want that. We want to merge down. So let's go back. Let's stop that.
Let's just create a new layer. Just see what happens. Okay. Because usually you will have another layer here. <coughs> so let's go through let's go through the whole steps. And that way and then we'll do the merge down. So we'll do copy. And then we'll do blend. Okay, now we want to merge this layer down because that's what you're going to be doing once you're actually retouching. So now we're going to go to new, merge down, blue, record, and let's see if we do this. Command E. There we go. So Command E, just merge down, merge layers, and we want to stop. And so now, We'll go through all the steps again. So, do a new step layer. All right, so we're going to go to selection, copy, blend, and merge down. And now your layer is merged. All right, and so now usually what I do, I'm gonna actually delete this. So I don't need anymore. So I don't like to press the play button on these things. I don't like coming here every single time and press the play button. So I delete all the other actions that I had, and I just show just our actions. And I come here and hit button mode, so it allows me to actually see um, the buttons. And I can just press on it and it does actually I don't have to play it. And I think how do you add actions for that? So if you have any questions, uh, feel free to uh, comment below. Or if you uh, want to get in contact with Bella, um, just shoot her a message on her YouTube channel. And I'll put the links in it below. And if you have any other questions uh, about it, you can hit her up also. She's a very nice person and she's very helpful um, so hope you guys enjoyed it and see you next time